Chapter 10 is all about overlays, and in this video, we want to create a circular overlay that's animated, has some color to it, and can be used to present some kind of text. Here in Camtasia, let's say we want to get to this point in the video and we want to talk about something important. What I want to do is start with a circle. So I'm going to go over to my annotations. I'm going to choose shapes. I'm going to go to bold so I can find that circle and I'm going to drag that circle right to the center of my screen and let go. Now, I want that circle to be 2200 by 2200, so I'm going to put that in for the dimensions, and now I can see that circle will cover the entire screen for this point. Now, it's currently yellow, and I want my overlay to be more greenish, so I'm going to select a green color here. And then, of course, I don't want it to be completely opaque, so I will change its opacity and drop it down somewhere here around, sure, 66% sounds good. So now it's time to animate this circle. I'm gonna go here somewhere in the middle and I'm gonna use Shift A to add an animation. I'm gonna drag it all the way to the beginning and I want this to be a lot shorter. In fact, I want it to be about half the duration. So I'm gonna make this 15 frames. And the way I want it to start is I want it to be as small as possible right in the center. And to make it as small as possible, I'm just gonna grab that scale and drag it all the way down. So now when I play this, that circle gets large. It just expands there right from the center. And that is exactly what I want. Because I wanna copy and paste this for future circles, I'm just gonna right click and I'm going to copy it. And then I'm gonna move three frames to the right. So I've double clicked. I'm right at the beginning of this. I wanna move three frames to the right. So I'll press the period key one, two, three times. And then I'm going to paste the second one. And again, three more times, one, two, three and I'm going to paste the third one. Now the second circle I'm going to select and I want it to be white. And so what I'm gonna do is say, let's edit all animations, say yes. And I just wanna change this second one to white. The other thing I wanna do is make sure that it's completely opaque. So I'm going to crank up its opacity so it's 100%. Now that I'm done with those changes, I'm going to turn off this option and get back to just editing animations like we're used to. Now, the next thing I wanna do is make these other circles not get quite as big as the first one. So we know the first one covers the screen and if we let these other ones cover the screen, well then that doesn't help us at all. So what I wanna do is align these so that we're right here at the end of the first animation. So I'm gonna zoom in and just drag this so that all three animations end at the same time. And now this first one is big, it's up to 100%. The second one, I wanna make it a little smaller, so I'm gonna make it down to 75%. And then the third one, I'm gonna make even smaller, and I'm gonna make it 66%. So now I can see this white circle around. What I wanna do is actually cut out the middle of this so we can see what's in the middle. So what I'll do is I'm going to right click and make this an alpha invert so I can see what's going on behind this image. So now if I just play through this, you can see that I expand these circles from the center, I'm overlaying, and I'm going to show something else over top of this video. The one thing I forgot was to make this track completely opaque as well. So let me just go back to this track and I will increase the opacity here at the end and then also here at the beginning, all the way to 100. So now let's play through this. There we go, that looks better. When this animation finishes here at this point, I want some text to appear. So I'll go back to my library and I'll find some text that I wanna use. I'll grab this, I'll just right click it and add to timeline at playhead. Let's animate this in as well. So let me go here and add an animation at the beginning. And this, we want it to be rather quick. So let's make it 15 frames as well. I'll go to the beginning of the animation and I want it to start from the center and reveal itself from the center. So what I'm gonna do is crop the sides into the center. To do that, I'm gonna hold down the Alt key and crop the left side into the center. And while I still continue to hold Alt, I'll crop the right side and bring that into the center. Of course, on your Mac, you would use the Option key. So now, as I go through this, we can see that it reveals from the center and then it animates. And then we would want to animate this all back out. So I think this is a great way to show some sort of important information, whatever that may be. And then whenever we're done with this, like I said, let's animate it all out. Now, the easiest way to do this is to add the restore animation. So I'm going to select all of these items and I want them all to go back where they were. So I'm going to choose animations on the left, the animations tab at the top, find the restore animation and drag it here to the end. For the first item, I can see it was 15 frames. So I'm just going to reduce this back down to 15 frames. The second item was nine frames. So I'm going to grab it and make it nine frames as well. The next one was 12 frames. So I'll drag it down to 12 frames. And the last one was 15, so I'll make it 15 frames. Now the timings aren't right. As we see here, these circles animated and then this came in. So let's do the opposite. Let's have this close out 
and then each of these should appear after that. They should all have the same start time whenever that one is done at the top. All right, so let's play through this now and see how this looks. I love how that looks. Now, that might be up there faster than you want. You might want it to stay up there a little longer or something. That's fine. You can stretch out these durations and make this so that it's out for six seconds or 10 seconds or whatever you need that text to be out there for. And then just to clean things up here at the end, if we look right at the end, there's this tiny, tiny circle there in front of my face. So the last thing I would do is just trim each of these so that the last item corresponds with the end of the animation. And that way I don't have that circle there in the center of my video. So again, just to play through this one more time, we can see this nice overlay. We put some text over top of it. The text goes away and the circles go away as well. If you like that trick and you wanna learn how to create professional looking videos with Camtasia, be sure to check out the Camtasia Pro course. You can find out how to sign up for that course at cammastery.com pro. I hope to see you there.